Welcome to the channel. In this video, we were going to be looking at the Veritas Variable Burnisher. Now, there's a story behind this one because I have a Facebook group that's called Veritas Tool Nerds. One of the guys posted this for sale and then a ton of comments popped up saying, I have this and I don't know how to use it. I can't figure it out. So, the guy that was selling it actually sent it to me for free so I could do this video for you guys. So, thank you, Matt. I hope you learn how to use this and then I'll probably be sending it back to you because I think you're going to like it. Stick with me. All right, so here it is. Now, before we dive into me showing you how to use it, you need to understand the different degrees and the different like things about this tool. So, zero is less aggressive, 15 is more aggressive. So you can see it goes zero to 15, zero to 15. If it's pointed this way and you have your card in here, the bird's gonna be on this side of the card. If it's pointed that way, the bird's gonna be on this side of the card. To be honest with you, I have never turned my dial to this side. However, if your burnishing rod starts getting worn out, that's when I would probably go to this side and just know the burr is going to be on the opposite side of the card. If you have a different school of thought for that, go for it. If you like to have double-sided cards, go for it. But just know that's how this works. Now, if you bought this used, because I hear a lot of people that buy these used and they have issues with it, check your burnishing rod to make sure that it's okay. So to do that, you loosen this screw. A little bit more. There we go. And this comes out. That right there is your burnishing rod. So this one was used. Not that bad. So I'm just going to clean it off a little bit here. There we go. So just make sure it's okay. You can see there's an Allen key right there. So if your burnishing rod is bad, reach out to Lee Valley. They sell replacements for this as well. Just make sure really that there's no dents and dings in it. If it's dirty, just clean it off a little bit. I wouldn't stress on it too much. And then just put it back where it was. What I'm going to recommend is turning it to zero, and I'll show you why, and then tighten it down. All right, so now what you want to do is pick the card you're going to use and figure out how aggressive you want it to be. I picked a card that is 0 0.032 inches, so it's kind of a thinner card, and I'm going to go to 10 degrees with it because I do want it to be a little bit more aggressive. I have another 0 0.032 card that I have lighter, so this one I'm going to go with 10 degrees. Now, the first thing you have to do with this is card prep. Um, this part, I'm sorry if it's gross to you, but you need to put a little bit of oil on this card. So what I do is I just rub my finger behind my ear and then just rub it over the card. If this card already has a burr on it, please make sure that you don't cut yourself, okay? So there we go. That's all you need. If you want to use actual oil, go for it. I mean, if you want to use your armpit, go for it. <laughs> Whatever. So... The first thing you need to do is have this set at zero. Depending on how wide your card is, you can clamp it up into a vise, but as you can see, there's not a lot of space there. So if you can clamp it, go for it. I tend to just hold it in my hand. So the first step is putting it to zero and doing card prep. So put it in there and then just moderate pressure. You wanna make sure you're not tilting this in any way. Try to keep it as parallel to the edge as possible and just run it. See, I tilted it, now it's stuck in the, there we go. There we go, and just run it over it like that, okay? Then you're gonna see it's at zero. You might feel a little bit of a burr, and that's fine, okay? From there, you have options. Some people like to jump to 10 degrees. If this card was thinner, I would, but I'm gonna work my way up, so I'm gonna take this dial and turn it to five. Lock it back down. If it's not spot on, don't worry about it. Just get it close enough. So now it's at five, it's locked down. I'm gonna do the same thing. Make sure you're using the same side that you want. This is the side that has a little bit of a burr, so that's the side I'm going to keep focusing on. Put it back in there, run it over a few times. There we go. And you're going to start feeling a little bit more of a burr. But I want to go to 10 degrees, so I'm going to do this again. Loosen this, turn it to 10, lock it down. Okay? Burnish it again. I forgot to mention that while you're using the burnisher, if you are going all the way to the edges, you can, but just know that these corners are not going to touch because you're going to be doing a bend or a bow in it. So you can stop on the scraper so it doesn't click on, I think you heard me clicking it onto the ends a few times. You can just go right into the middle. You don't need to go all the way end to end. So keep that in mind as well. 
you'll feel it cutting. There's no way for me to explain it to you, but you'll feel it rolling that edge over and you'll know when it's done because you can feel it doesn't skip anymore. I don't know how to explain it. You can also just do it by feel and be like, okay, that feels like a good burr. Okay. And then you know you're ready to go once you have that. If you're going to 15, that's when, again, you would loosen this dial, turn it to 15, lock it down. Burnish it a couple more times, and then you're good to go. Now, if you feel a burr on here, and you go to use it, and you're not getting any shavings, you need to pay attention to your angle. And that's something that I can't teach you. There is no magic. Put it to 10 degrees, hold it at 20. It, it doesn't work like that. you got to experiment with it with how thick your card is, how aggressive of a burr you went, that kind of stuff. It's also just could be your hands, depending on how you hold it, how much pressure you're putting here, and then you just go for it. Okay. Find the angle that works for the burr and the card that you have. The last thing I want to show you is this card scraper holder because holding a card scraper, especially a thicker card scraper like this for a long time, puts a lot of pressure on your hands. As you guys know, I have issues with my hands. So if you have arthritis or anything like that, or you just find that it's, it's annoying to hold it like this all the time, this thing I love. I actually want to get more of these so I can leave my card scrapers in them so they're ready to go. But let me show you how this works too since I have you. So you loosen these two knobs and then you can see here the card goes underneath those. So let me put the card in. Which Where's my burr? Okay. So the burr is going to face out. This part's a little finicky. There we go. Then you lock these down. And there you go. See how it's held in there? Then this right here, see how there's no bow? Turn this screw, and it bows the card for you. So then all you have to do is go like this. Oh. I put the card too far. <laughs> Hold on. There we go. I forgot to leave it overhanging. So there we go. It's putting a bow in it for me, and then all you have to do, go like that. You can put more and get a little bit more aggressive if you want more of a bow. Which doesn't work for this angle too well, but... You get the idea. Now let's talk about the AccuBur. Alright, so this part of the video turns into a little bit of a comparison, which is what I'm used to. That's what most of my videos are. If you want the quick answer, both the AccuBur and the Veritas do the same thing. The biggest difference is, the Veritas can do 15 different degrees... The AccuBur can do four. So, this would be zero degrees, which would be one. Then you have two, three, four. So this is not aggressive, medium aggressive, heavy aggressive. I don't know if you'll be able to see those in video. You still have to work through the progression. So don't think that you can all of a sudden skip to the heavy one. You still need to go light, moderate, heavy, if that's how high up uh, of a, an a angle you're going to go, basically. So if you're a stickler for angles and you want it to be spot on, dead accurate every single time, and, and you know that you have a thin card that you want to be at exactly 7 degrees, Veritas is going to be the way to go. If you don't care about angles as much, the AccuBur is going to work just fine. If you have one, do you need to buy the other one? No. Um, I will say the AccuBur is a little bit easier to use because it's already open. You would burnish it, go to the next one, burnish it, go to the next one, burnish it, so on and so forth. This one you have to loosen, turn this, tighten down, burnish, loosen, turn, tighten, burnish. Um, that's really the difference. So the choice is yours on that. Um, I didn't look up prices, so I'll put prices up on the screen and then maybe that'll make the decision for you. But yeah. <laughs> All right. So there you go. Hopefully this helped you learn something. Um, I know I threw in like very quickly that little piece about the AccuBur. If you made a decision based on that, feel free to let us know down below. If you've tried both and you picked one over the other one, also let us know down below. If you run into issues while you're trying to use the Veritas Variable Burnisher, leave a comment down below and I'll try to help you out the best I can. If you guys have any questions, any comments, anything like that, again, let us know down below. I hope you all enjoyed and have a good day. <laughs>